the beginning of Y90, it was approved for salvage therapy only. And you sort of had these incredibly vague guidelines of 80 to 150 gray and, you know, for the entire liver go. And, you know, we've systematically drilled down on how to best treat our patients, how to best maintain their quality of life while improving their overall survival. And when you see the impact that you have, it brings an enormous amount of joy. I've been involved with Therosphere since 2000, for, for 21 years now. Uh, I was the first interventional radiologist in the country to use this kind of therapy. And uh, I quickly saw, um, I quickly saw its effect. And I was glad that finally after, God only knows how many years, it, Therosphere found the right home where it could, its potential was realized and developed appropriately, and now it's moving on to becoming a worldwide treatment. What I found most gratifying in the last several years of practice is when you can treat patients who have basically been discarded, who have basically been told that they're gonna die or that there's no option for them. You can get really simply astonishing long-term results um, where you have patients who had made plans to die now living three, four, even five years. The goal of the legacy trial was anyone who works at it and is meticulous with their technique can get the same results. That's what hit home to me. And knowing that you're contributing to not just an individual patient's life, but knowing that you're driving an entire therapy forward that can be then applied all over the United States, all over Europe, all over the world, becomes incredibly impactful. So it's just a sense of pride when I see all, all this work, 20 years uh, leading to this, because I know it's impacted a lot of people. And to me, having been part of that is just, is just, a, is just an honor to have been part of it.